かり本当にこいつはヒーロー」せーの There are so many different kinds of prepackaged foods that are popular in the Orient, and yakisoba is one. Yakisoba is fried noodles with shredded cabbage, this yummy sauce, and delicious toppings. Wow, even thinking about this makes my mouth water. But before I go into all that, let's talk about boxed noodles. Many people can't remember a time when there weren't noodles in a cup. But actually, even though dried noodles were marketed in the 1950s, instant noodles in a cup or container is a fairly recent innovation by Nissen when they put out their cup o noodles in 1970. Since then, we've been putting water into a cup or bowl, waiting three minutes, and having a delicious meal. And even if they aren't always the best thing for you, they sure are good. And when you're tired of broth and ramen, there's always a yakisoba bowl. And one of the more popular yakisobas is put out by the company that first made the cup of noodle, Nissin. To promote their instant yakisoba, Nissin produced a series of commercials of a superhero called UFO Kamen Yakisoban. He fought the evil kettler, <laughs> because he has a, a, a kettle on his head. <laughs> kettler. Anyways, the commercials were a great success, and the character even became so popular that a female version was dreamed up as Yakisoba Girl. There was a VHS video made, and this game, UFO Kamen Yakisoban, Kettler no Kuroi Imbo, which was released in 1994 for the Super Famicom. It's a side scrolling beat em up where you try to rescue Princess Mayumi, whom you are about to marry, before she was taken by the villainous Kettler. Darn that guy! Along the way, you beat up, uh, chopstick guys, french fry shooting boxes, and, uh, sumo investment bankers. Look, I'm sorry, I don't know what these guys are. I got the game without an instruction manual. I'm so sorry for that lame joke. A and X both punch while B and Y jump. If you press and hold the R button while doing an attack, you do a move called the Agedama Bomber. Agedama is the crispy bits of tempura that come off in the fryer. They sprinkle lots of food with it. Then there's the sauce beam that you can use by pressing and holding the attack button and then letting the meter charge, and then sauce beam! Also, holding down the L and hitting the attack button does the Aonori Flash. This freezes all the enemies on the screen for actually quite some time. Aonori is just flakes of seaweed and is sprinkled on yakisoba. All right. These special moves have made me hungry. We'll be right back. UFO coming! Get the one! Mina san, I'm a UFO no Nishin Mark Samai de! Sai Kazo ga atarimasu! Mate! Eh? So no mono atarimasu! Eh? Ah! Mail attack! やられた。一体どうなってるの本当は焼きそばしか持っていない焼きそばスーパーファミコンからこのボンバー。ワンタッチ味覚焼きそばテントが UFO の西マーク3枚で当たるのです。もう嘘はつきません。よし。スーパー
containers of Agadama, and you can see them replenish here. There are tents that boost your life. Now see, that's how in-depth the marketing in this game goes. Not only does it market the noodles, it markets the prizes that you could get in the sweepstakes mail-away contests that they had. When they shilled, they shilled. And then there's the unicycle that you can get, and it will instant hit any enemy that you touch. Because in the commercials, the unicycle is one of the prizes that you could win. And uh... You know, I have no clue why he rides a unicycle. Well, that would never fly in the common Rider world. Huh? There are special moves that you can do, but they're all pretty much the same except for your special attacks. Try different button combos. Now, the graphics here are good, and there's a lot going on in the backgrounds. They're moving and interesting, and the designers really made the layers work for some of the shots. And the music is really pretty decent. I kept it on the whole time while I was playing and found it to be quite nice. Very superheroish. You will come Yakisoba! Yakisoba! On the downside, the game is astoundingly short with only five levels to play. Much like Pepsi Man and Segata Sanchiro, this game was made to be a promo game and really didn't need a lot of depth in it. And the levels are all pretty easy and can be seen as very dull by today's gaming standards. But the levels are interesting to say the least. And the enemies, as I showed you, are creative and unique to yakisoba and food. And even though it's goofy, I still find that I enjoyed playing the game and really wanted to see the ending. In the extras, you can make the game easier or harder, which makes for a good challenge and it gives it a little bit of replayability and all the menu is in English, so that's a big plus for importing. In all honesty, this game is just one of those novelty titles that is just there as a promotional item for the company. The gameplay is slow and stiff, as was typical for Sufami beat-em-ups, but it holds a nice charm that other promotional games sometimes lack. It's not a great game, but it's fun and part of the tokusatsu history of Japan. And food! Raida Yakisoba! Warion Senshi no nao o se o i Sekai heiwa o mamori mo no Gebu kai no mirai wa makase toke Ashiki Atsura Uchi Makase